welcome to Sarah's Stamping Retreat. So today we're going to do some foiling, but you don't need a hot foil machine for this, just a laminator. And I'm going to be showing you three different cards made from these, using them in slightly different ways. So we're going to be using this pack of fab foilers today. So these are the patterns that you add the foil to, and there are a few different packs of different designs in them. So this one's got the stars, this crisscross pattern, graphic pattern and the leaves and you get four of each design so you get 16 designs in total and there are also a huge amount of the fab foils that you can choose from as well so I've got white and blush here to give you examples but we actually won't be using these ones today I'm going to be using gold and a pink today so I'm going to bring in my laminator and I'm not even joking when I say I think this is probably around 20 years old. It's really old. So you don't need anything fancy. And I'm going to let that heat up. And I'm going to use a piece of scrap paper as a carrier sheet. But use whatever's right for your machine. And I'm going to use this star piece. I'm going to lay these over the top. So... These are pieces of the gold fab foil. I'm just going to lay those over the top like that. I'm going to pop them into my carrier sheet. And then now that my laminator is telling me it's hot enough, I'm just going to feed this through. So I can take this out. You can tell that the foil has stuck to the stars. And then I'm going to peel this off. And I've got this absolutely gorgeous gold foiled star panel so then i want to keep my card front pretty simple because i want to make the most of that gorgeous foiling and so i've got a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card blank so i've cut this down to fit it and these are really clever because they're four and a quarter inches by five and seven eighths inches so it means that you can cut them down to fit either a UK A6 card front or a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card front. So they'll actually fit both, which is nice because I think usually products are made to fit either one or the other. And then I've got this gorgeous Mama Elephant Big Happy Birthday die and I've cut it three times from white cardstock and once from gold foil cardstock. So I'm going to layer those up and the white cardstock elements will just help lift it off the card a bit. So I've got the three piece of white cardstock stacked up and then the gold one goes on the top. So then I've got a four and a quarter by three and a quarter piece of vellum and I'm just going to add this to my sheet of micro sticky dots. This for me is the best way for attaching vellum to anything. So it means there's glue all over the back. You can't really see it very well through the vellum. So then I'm going to add that to my card. And then I'm just going to add on my sentiment. So you can actually see the glue dots through the vellum a bit more than usual. I think because of the foil. I think that's really pretty lovely and shiny and a really cute easy birthday card so then for this next card i'm going to use this graphic fab foiler and this satin fuchsia foil and feed that through so now we've got that gorgeous pink on the line it's not as shiny as the other foil, obviously, because it's satin rather than the shiny foil. So then I'm going to take my card front and I've got my Distress Oxide inks. So I'm going to start with sponge sugar at the top 
And this is another nice way to use your fab foils because it means that you can get different colours in the background. And then I'm going to move into saltwater taffy and then to kitchenmingo. And don't worry that it looks a mess at the moment, we're going to go over in a second and blend it back in nicely. So now we're going to go over with a second coat and this will be where it starts to look nicer. So we're kind of working through backwards, so Clitch Flamingo first, then the saltwater taffy, and then I'm going to finish with the sponge sugar. So then I'm going to grab a soft cloth and I'm just going to go back over those lines just to get off any excess ink and to make them stand out again. And you want to make sure you've got a nice soft cloth, not anything abrasive that's going to take that foil off. And then you can see we've got this gorgeous background. Okay, so then I've got this satin pink foil cardstock and I've cut the pieces like this. So we've got the For You sentiment and that's that Simply Bold For You from the greetery. And then I've also used these two stitched rectangles together to cut a frame. So I've cut all those pieces twice from white cardstock and once from the pink cardstock and then we'll layer them up just like we did on the last card. So then I'm going to glue my ombre background panel onto my card front. Again I've cut it down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. Then I'm going to glue on my frame. And then what I'm going to do is add this, which is the waste from what I cut out, back into here. And then I'm going to use that as a guide for spacing my for you. And then I can pull off this bit. And then I've got my for you, and then I've just used the, the smallest three dies from this Craftelier Stars die set to cut some stars from the same pink cardstock. And then to add a bit of added interest, I'm going to add these two to the middle of the bigger two stars. So. And then we've got this cool card. So then for my final card, I've used the leafy panel and gold. You can see that looks really pretty. So then for this card, I'm going to give it a slightly different look by colouring it with my Karen markers. So here I've got the black olive and the olive green, and I'm going to hold the black olive over the olive green for about 10 seconds. And that will just add some of the black olive ink into the olive green. So then when I colour, I'm going to colour from side to side. And it's going to go from the black olive into the olive green. So I'm going to kind of get a bit of an ombre effect on my leaf. I'm going to do that for each of the leaves. There we've got that lovely foiled panel that's coloured now as well. And it's nice to use the water-based markers rather than the alcohol markers because the alcohol markers can colour the foil as well. Then the other thing I'm going to do, which is like an alternative to building up the layers on our die cuts like we did in the last couple, is just to use a bit of this double-sided foam. And I'm going to pop my gold foil onto that. And then I'm going to use this For You die to cut through both the foiled cardstock and that foam. So then I've got a piece of vellum that is two and three eighths by two and three quarter inches. And I'm going to add my For You onto there. You could do it in a similar way to we did last time we did this, or because I'm doing it onto vellum, I'm just using the grid that's on my grid mat just to guide the letters in place. So 
So then I'll glue my foiled panel onto my card front. And then I'm going to add glue behind the letters on the vellum. So then we've got our final foiled card for the day. So then there we've got all three of today's foiled cards. I really hope you've enjoyed exploring the different things we can do with the foiled panels with me. I'd love to know which is your favourite. Please do let me know in the comments below. I hope this will encourage you to give these really cool fab foilers a go. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate you clicking like below. And you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will also notify you when there's a new video available. All of the products that I've used for today's cards are listed in the description below. And there's also a link there to the blog where you can find a picture supply list if that helps you find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.